Hey guys, welcome. So for today it's time for my October wrap up. And um so for today, no, as you can see, medyo makulimlim kasi it's raining hard. There's literally a, a storm happening right now as I'm filming this kaya nga sana naririnig niyo ako at hindi na overpower ng ulan ang microphone na ito ang aking munting microphone so here are everything that I've watched in October starting with movies ayun uh, before we get started pala sa October uh, there are three films that I watched during September pero hindi ko nasama dun sa last video ko so I just wanna mention them here so anyway those are Eerie directed by Mikhail Red Aswang directed by Alex Arumpak and the third one is Moral, directed by Marilu Diaz Abaya. So, ayun na, uh, going forward now with October movies, the first one was The Little Mermaid. Uh, so, after it released yung trailer ng live action na Little Mermaid, it made me miss this one. So, parang ayun, gusto ko siyang balikan. So, I rewatched it. And ayun, as always, the songs are so good. They're always a bop. And then, next one naman is Small Holland Drive. So, it's about Betty na pumunta sa Hollywood to become a star. And may nakilala siyang girl with amnesia. And as she pursues her dreams, ayun, tinulungan niya rin yung girl na may amnesia na alamin ang kanyang identity. Ayun, to be honest, hindi ko siya nagets no una. Kaya napasearch ako ng Small Holland Drive ending explained. And after that, ay naliwanagan ako and dun ko siya mas na-appreciate. Okay, so the next one, uh, medyo mahaba yung title, no? It's Borat Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. So it's about Borat na isang reporter from Kazakhstan na pinadala sa USA para gumawa ng documentary about their culture and lifestyle ganun. Tapos, um, ang goal is i-apply niya yung mga natutunan niya sa bansa niya. So, nung pinanood ko to hindi ko pa kilala si Sasha Baron Cohen at that time. So, hindi ako aware sa style niya in comedy, which is satire and gumagawa siya mga characters and uh, his pulling pranks, ganun. So, when I found out na ganun ngayon yung style niya and unscripted pala yung format nitong Borat, I was really impressed. Noong una, inisip ko nga na ang galing naman ng mga actors, like sobrang natural ng acting nila. And then, ayun, turns out, hindi naman pala kasi sila totoong actors. So, lahat ng interaction nila with Borat, lahat yun totoo. And, you know, genuine reaction nila yun. So, ayun, it was really cool and funny. And I think it's even funnier na Borat yung pangalan niya because, you know, it kind of sounds like Borat. And then, the next one naman is Dog Day Afternoon. So, about siya kay Sonny and Sal na nagtry na mag ng bank. But then, yung quick na bank robbery na ito ay naging isang mahabang hostage-taking situation. I think this is the sexiest Al Pacino has ever looked. Charot. And then, pero ayun, I really enjoyed the whole thing. It was really good and engaging. And grabe yung performance ni Al Pacino. And then, the next one naman ay Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. So, it's about a group of Gen Zs na na-stuck sa isang remote mansion dahil sa isang hurricane. Then, while staying there, naisipan nilang mag-play ng game called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Which is kind of the same as Among Us or the Mafia game. Ganun. Uh, need nilang mahulaan kung sino yung killer until may isa nga ang totoong namatay sa kanila. So, ayun, parang party game gone wrong. Ayun, thrilling siya and funny. Um... Ang funny nung incorporation nila ng Gen Z humor and references, ganon. Um, it's a slasher, but it's more of a mystery. To be honest, yun nga kasi, they're trying to figure out sino ba sa kanila magtotropa yung killer. And then, ayun, towards the end, yung reveal, it was... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know if I liked it or not, pero the reveal was crazy, basta you will be gagged, ganun. And then the next one is Men. It's a psychological horror. It's about siya sa isang babae na pumunta mag-isa 
sa parang isang retreat house para mag-heal kasi kakagaling niya lang sa isang traumatic experience but then it seems like hinahunt pa rin siya nung mga fears and traumas na ito. So the next one is Intergalactic. It's an adult animation. So it's about Jabari na isang artist who's trying to balance success and love. Ayun, so star-studded yung cast and very trippy yung visuals niya but it was it was beautiful. And then the next one is Crimes of the Future. So it's a body horror na parang it's about humans adapting to time and technology. So par- parang may community of people who are going through transformations and mutations. Ganun. And it was it was cool. Um it was weird in a cool way. Pero ayun, um I think it's unique. Ganun, pero I don't think it's for me. But it's good. But it's not for me. Ganun. Ayun, and then the next one naman is Borat subsequent movie film. Um, ayun, so hindi kasi ako nakamove on dun sa first Borat kaya naman. Pinanood ko na tong sequel niya. So, 14 years later, ayan na, meron ng Borat 2. And dito naman, since recognizable na si Borat, he went into this guys in order to fulfill his new mission sa America. And this time, kasama niya yung anak niyang babae. So, aside from the movie itself, ang interesting din nung mga like behind the scenes na kwento about this like how they um you know plan everything and paano nila shin shoot you know how paano nila in execute and ayun, it becomes even more meaningful and admiring knowing na he's doing this you know like pinagsasama niya yung activism and comedy so yeah. so ayo sabi nga ng friend ko si Borat or si Sasha Baron Cohen I he's got balls of steel kasi yung mga pranks na ginagawa niya they're really scary and cringe kaya like you know not everyone can do that so hats off to him for doing this so speaking of activism uh, the next one is Lee Wai. Uh, it's a true story of a young mother who uses storytelling to protect her child from the reality of growing up in a prison and a difficult life she endured so ayun guys, available to sa YouTube for free. And ang ganda niya, so I think y'all should really watch this. And then the next one naman is Not Okay. About siya sa isang girl na nag-fake ng trip niya to Paris for followers and fame hanggang sa may isang incident na nangyari dun sa supposed location niya sa Paris. And dahil nga naman hindi totoong nandun siya, uh, she has to play along sa lie na ginawa niya hanggang sa lumaki na lumaki yung line na yun. And she doesn't know how to deal with it anymore. So, ayun. It was nice. And you can see na parang yung message na gusto talaga nilang ipalating about this movie is, you know, yung mga bombings and shootings na which is isa sa like malaking issue sa America. So, yeah. And then, the next one is 3,000 3, Years of Longing. So, a solitary scholar discovers an ancient bottle while on a trip to Istanbul and unleashes a jinn who offers her three wishes. Filled with reluctance, she is unable to come up with one until his story spark in her a desire to be loved. So, so it's directed by George Miller, yung gumawa ng uh, Fury Road, which is super kabaliktara nito actually, kasi yung Fury Road, di ba, wala silang screenplay doon, puro storyboard, so wala sila, masar- wala sila masyadong um, dialogues, but but for this one, puro naman siya dialogue. <laughs> so, the next one is Werewolf by Night. So, ayan, um, panibagong MCU content. On a dark and somber night, a secret cable of monster hunters emerge from the shadows and gather at the forebounding Bloodstone Temple following the death of their leader. In a strange and macabre memorial of the leader's life, the attendees are thrust into a mysterious and deadly competition for a powerful relic, a hunt that will ultimately bring them face to face with dangerous monster. So again, it was really fun and camp and classic horror yung style niya. So, the next one is Sing. It's about a koala named Buster who recruits his best friend to help him drum up business for his theater by hosting a singing competition. So, Ayur is about a bunch of cute and talented animals. And, napaka-random lang nito. Um, 
dapat ipapanood ko sa pamangkin ko but then ang ending pati ako nakatutok na rin ayun and then uh, the next one is the next one is la en la en la en sorry sorry sa pronunciation <laughs> Uh, after a chaotic night of rioting in a marginal suburb of Paris, three young friends, Vince, Hubert, and Sayid, wander around unoccupied waiting for news about the state of health of a mutual friend who has been seriously injured when confronting the police. So, ayun, ang ganda niya, ang ganda ng ending, ang shocking, ganner. So, ayun, anyways, that's all for this video. I'm cutting this video ngayon kasi I, I actually watch a ton of movies during October and ayun so hatiin ko ng video na to into two parts this will be part one so stay tuned for part two kasi I'm not finished I think kalahati pa lang ata yun ng mga movies na napanood ko so syempre hindi pa kasali dun yung mga series so there's going to be a lot more so yeah that's all for part one I'll see you all on part two Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Happy Halloween.